We are back from intermission. This is Jess. She was once human, but she turned into this gigantic bottle of gin. If any of you know how to get her back, let me know. Meanwhile, I'm going to set her right over here. And she's going to be our good luck gin. But we're not going to drink that gin. We're going to drink this gin. This here is Hendrix Moonwater. Came across their Instagram. Basically, it's a two to one martini with uh, orange liqueur instead of vermouth. So got a couple of shots, and I use Neptunia instead of Orbium. I I drank all my Orbium, and frankly, I like Neptunia better. <laughs> so I got a couple of shots of Neptunia, and then I got a shot of uh, Curacao, because I thought Cointreau would be too sweet. No, I'm not so sure. And then it's uh, got some uh, honey syrup. And I went light on the honey syrup as well because I thought that might get too sweet too fast. But this is much better than that last drink. <laughs> Feature two tonight. Teenagers from outer space. Thrill craze space kids blasting the flesh off humans. Starring David Love, Don Anderson, Harvey B. Dunn, Bryant, Brian Grant, and Tom Lockyer. Great poster, by the way. That's a great poster. Okay, 1959 Tom Graff productions and I just read there it was distributed by Warner Brothers <clears throat> director Tom Graff Graff G R A E F F Okay a shiny silver saucer floats down from the sky and lands in a field four aliens in very superhero looking getups maybe left over from the cereals <laughs> Emerge and check the atmosphere to see if it is good for raising their gorgons. Gargons, sorry, gargons. <clears throat> the source of their food on their planet, but, but not a creature that you really want roaming your planet, apparently. Uh, but actually, it's just a lobster in a really fancy cage. You'll find out what the problem is. <clears throat> well, the... I don't know what the right word is here. <clears throat> the meekest alien, Derek... Uh, takes exception to unleashing the Gargons on an inhabited planet. But the other three aliens are tough guys, and they insist on it. They take Derek into custody, but you guessed it, he escapes and heads into town. In town, he befriends Skinny Betty and her fat grandpa. One of the tough aliens... Thor, <laughs> Derek, Thor, <laughs> all normal, is sent after Derek and basically just fries everyone he comes across. Just fries him with his disintegration gun. <clears throat> as Derek and Betty chase around, Thor starts making headlines as a killer. The law is on the case. And Thor just can't seem to catch up with Derek and Betty. It's just a big goose chase all around town. 
<clears throat> with with Thor behind just by a touch at every every turn. Eventually eventually Betty kind of gets wise. Betty like figures out that Derek isn't isn't from around here. <laughs> But it doesn't matter by this point. <clears throat> um, she just has to help him. Aww. Meanwhile, the aliens, the rest of the aliens, are on their way to Earth to unleash their lobsters. Which we now know grow to colossal size. And eat anything. Including fellow townsfolk. Derek must find a way to thwart his comrades and save the earth from certain destruction at the hands or er, at the claws of giant lobsters. Sounds pretty exciting, doesn't it? Okay. This movie isn't any better, or much worse, than many of its ilk, uh, giant see-through lobster and all. I just don't know why it's called Teenagers from Outer Space. We got four aliens, four, ranging in age from 24 to 40. We got a 30-year-old girl and her grandpa, like, there's not one fucking teenager in the whole movie. I expected something more like, have y'all seen uh, Hot Rod Girl? I expected something more like the kids from Hot Rod Girl stepping off the flying saucer. Maybe it's just me. WTF, I wrote. A disappointing... We don't need that anymore. A disappointing one-ring circus teenagers from outer space. Now, uh, let's... Uh, oh, look who's back. It's Monkey. But I'm not sure that he's... He doesn't look the same as before. I think something happened to him under the house over there. He went under the house. Maybe it was the radon. You all right, monkey? I don't know if he's all right. Let's pick a movie. We might be back next week. I have to work for Mad Mike at the gas station. But I might have time. I'm working on something special with one of my friends. And there might be time for, uh, well, I mean, if I'm going to get all dressed up and everything, might as well just come home and shoot my show, right? That's what I'm doing tonight. What do you think of that, monkey? Anything? I'm not sure if he's okay. <laughs> Jallo next week. A Quiet Place to Kill. And so sweet, so perverse. Next week or in two weeks. Depends on if I have time to shoot. Working for Mad Mike. Next time on the Late Night Picture Show. Good night, kids. <laughs>